Never had a mayor refuse to speak with me before. Why are you the only one? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by the Dover Liberty Book Club. Are you on the council, ma'am? Yes. Uh, what's your disposition toward the parking request that's come up to loosen up the parking laws a little bit? Excuse me? Uh, there's a parking law, uh, and some folks are going to have a petition tonight to try and get that loosened up so people aren't having their cars ticketed every night. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, I don't know if it's happening every night or not. But uh, do you have a disposition toward that, an opinion on that? Not until I, I won't have a firm opinion until after I hear all of the presentations. Okay. Do you have any kind of tentative opinion? Any concerns about the changing things? No, not at this point. So you think you might be able to I'm live open. with the idea of changing things? I'm totally open. Okay. And what's your name, if I ask? June Donegan. Okay, Ms. Donegan, thanks so much. Thank you. Or is it Dr. Donegan? Dr. Donegan is my nephew. Okay, all right. But my daughter is working on her PhD thesis. Oh, good. So we might have another Dr. Donegan soon. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, could I ask a question about the uh, parking issue that's coming up tonight? Why don't we just discuss it in the committee? Well, because I'd like to talk to you now. If we didn't have more questions for you, what's your disposition toward the uh, attempt to loosen up the parking, uh, the overnight parking on the street? I guess there's going to be a citizen who wants to uh, to get that loosened up a little bit so that people aren't being towed for parking on the street or aren't being ticketed for parking on the street. Are you, are you in favor of that or do you have an open mind? Good afternoon. I forget to what time it is here. Never had a mayor refuse to speak with me before. Why are you the only one? Are you on the council, sir? Yeah. Do you have an opinion regarding this uh, petition that's coming up to loosen up the track, uh, parking laws a little bit? Uh, we're going to wait for staff to give us some recommendations on that. Do you like it the way it is? Uh, people should be people be getting towed or ticketed for being there at night on the street. Uh, well, uh, it's not something I can discuss right now, but. Okay. Yeah, it's running late. Thank you. I was being a little generous there when I said. Uh, but he was running late. He had about six minutes before the meeting started, but maybe he was still running late. I don't know. Of course, it's not just uh, council members and government people coming in. It's uh, activists as well. I'm not government. Pardon? I said I'm not government. First on the agenda is a communication with Ms. Ryder, Snowton Street, St. Louis, four days. You've got to speak. Um, all right, uh, I'd like to hear from the uh, city attorney. Actually, we've been thinking about it within the staff for a while. Not chapter 94 is on. You might want to hear from other people in the audience here, but we suggested the committee to accept this information. But we are considering the things that he's suggesting, and we appreciate the comments that he's raised at this point. Um, anybody can do it. We got this information before we set some calls. As we, uh, I would suggest that. Uh, Maybe this is something the attorney or the police chief can answer. I appreciate the the point that um, the city is already reviewing these things, but people are being ticketed now, and I think that needs to be addressed. As if if it's even legal to be ticketing this car, these cars according to the ordinance, and if the police should cease and desist that action, and at least until there's a re review uh, completed. Well, I'm going to defer to the police chief on that uh, question. I think from my perspective, I don't think the ordinance is that ambiguous. Can we encompass overnight parking on the streets uh, year-round, and how do we do that uh, to make it work for street maintenance and snow removal uh, and such? And we're starting to look at some systems right now, but we're just in the beginning stages because, as you know, we just started this process. Uh, reference to 
the enforcement and issuing parking tickets. As we look at the language of this, uh, where it says vehicles shall be towed, it's my position has always been my belief that that's the most extreme measure we could take. That we don't take that, but in the most extreme issue that a vehicle does need to be towed because of winter maintenance <coughs> or, or maintenance on the streets that has to be done in a, in a vehicle towed in that respect. So uh, discretion-wise, we issue parking <coughs> tickets to educate citizens that this is a violation of our city ordinances during this period of time. Uh, to, to educate them and modify behavior relative to parking and to educate them where they can park when they can't park on the city streets. So it, it is quite a matter to undertake and something we're not going to fix in a month, but we do need to really look at these things. Uh, it's my opinion that we are ticketing, uh, using appropriate discretion in that matter, and that, that the statute, that the ordinance does allow for it. Well, uh, and I appreciate uh, I spoke to the chief before this, and I thought that April was fairly get a snowfall that might be four inches in a day and a half it's gone at 24 hours and i do that by tv and, and uh, i just wanted to say i appreciated that the chief and the attorney that they said they were looking into this uh from what i've discussed with different residents they, they feel it they get tickets when there's no trace of snow they, they feel that it's not an educational tool but so much to get a, a little bit of cash from them so it, that's just their feeling they get. So when you get a ticket and there's no snow, you look at it and you say, I didn't obstruct the snow removal, so why am I getting this ticket? So I think it's, I, I do applaud uh, the idea of trying to change this. And really it is uh, kind of, so uh, uh, the madam over there was saying that downtown it should not be changed at all, because absolutely not. There's a situation that may be different than another neighborhood. So it should be looked at how can the situation be improved on a case-by-case -case basis where if you're in one neighborhood and there's no obstruction, it, the, it should be handled differently than, say, downtown. So maybe changing the arbitrary nature of the enforcement. That would go a long way. And then residents wouldn't feel that they're being uh, taken for all their worth as far as the winter time. So, that's all. Okay, well, it's This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the Dover Liberty Book Club. In addition to eating lots of pastries and drinking lots of coffee, they are dedicated to learning about the basic principles which explain our current economic and social situation. And speaking of economic situations, you'll be glad to know most of the books they read are free. Dover Liberty Book Club.